Bon giorno, welcome back to the Italian campaign. We're about to uh, encounter a couple of these Hector class battlecruisers. They are overall less impressive than the battlecruisers the British had in the previous war. They're just not that good. I don't know why they didn't just build more of uh, more of the Zealous class, which were actually pretty impressive. 10 knots faster and uh, much heavily armed than the Hector class. But Hector is what they went with, and it's what we're gonna fight. So, five battlecruisers might be a little bit excessive on our part. It's a Galatea, you're just gonna join this division. San Ferdinando and Vittoria. I think you're you're gonna detach. You are a little bit faster. No, you're not. You got the same uh, 32 knot top speed. Okay. Well, anyway, I want you in two different divisions. gonna slow down and let the uh... well fine you're not gonna slow down you're already pulling out ahead Geo Scotty is opening fire KSI is opening what's the range here it's pretty far 38 kilometers the 14s are just in range. And not that much of a range difference between the 14s and the uh, and the 16s. Geo, Marquesa, Galatea. Victoria, San Fernando. Okay. All right. And the Brits are also opening fire. With their much lighter armament. I think the Hector class is decently armored though. My ship's going off in two different directions like this. At least one of the divisions should be getting side shots. we get something better later on. Um, my ships are firing HE. I guess they think that's the best choice. I think we should be able to pen this with AP. I don't think they have that much armor. Okay, 16s. Go with AP. They are close enough now that we should be getting... Uh, oh yeah. I don't think they have that level of armor. 16 kilometers? Yeah, we got at least 20 inches of penetration. There we go. Main belt pen. On the one in the back. Let's see, you 
guys? What kind of pen do you have? Uh, it's 17 kilometers. Uh, should also be enough, but you could just, uh, if you want to fire HE, that's fine. Got engine damage on that one. I think they have something like 10 inches of armor. I think this was the class that had 10 inches of armor uh, all over. Like that was the one thickness of plate they had available to build the ship. The AI does that sometimes. Well, one is down. Let's see if I remember correctly. If we get it identified before it disappears. There we go. Yeah, 10 inches. 10.8 actually. And there she goes. Yeah, not a huge load of victory point, but these are rather inexpensive. At least compared to mine. Now, there were two convoy battles. Last episode, we um, kind of lost a couple of Danish battlecruisers. They were not that good, so I'm not sure if they're going to be missed that much. We got an, uh, oh, one of the Bastardas, Astoria class, Light Cruiser, Pontier class, Destroyer, Herndon class, Destroyer. I would actually like my, uh, here we go. Denmark sends a good ship. Unfortunately, we're fighting two of the um, Marlborough class. And we also got the superb SD. Originally a British ship. That's one transport ship. That's seven transport ships. Herndon class DD. Hey, the Pontier class is uh, pretty fast. It doesn't have a lot of torpedoes though, but it's fast. This light cruiser is, I think, probably very old. We're gonna try this. I want to not lose my battlecruiser. Not too worried about the Danish boats. And they are way off in the distance. Let's see. Rickmead. Yeah, you are very old. I can tell. Coincidence 3. Mark 3, 6 inch guns. Yeah, this is uh, some kind of ship from the very start of the campaign. You're just gonna go home. You're uh, very much out of your depth here. What kind of torpedoes are we looking at with these? This one has two quintuple launchers, 8.4 kilometer torpedoes. 17.6 kilometer torpedoes. Triple launcher, 22 inch. Okay, I'm gonna try and make these DDs work. I think I want them uh, detached. Too bad this one doesn't have much of a uh, torpedo armament. 
Wait a minute. Is that one of my... Yeah, it is one of my designs. Alright, that's why uh, it seemed good. It's one of my gunboat DDs. Yeah, Pontier, that's one of my designs, alright. I should have recognized the name. I just didn't. So, she got long range torpedoes, but not many of them. There's the battleship, already opening fire on Archimede. He's 45 kilometers out. I don't quite have that range. There we go. I have the range. Do not waste time firing at the uh, the transports. You're gonna target the battleship. At this range. Deck penetrations should be possible. Cruiser is now targeting the McAfee. McCaffrey. Which is fine. That means Archimede is uh, safe for the moment. get a little bit closer before I um, use my smoke launchers. Partial pen on the main gun. Doing eighteen kilometers out, smoke. You had a torpedo range of eight point four kilometers. in the water. Sadly they're gonna miss. And both my DDs are dead. AP now. Not like losing uh, the DDs. The American built one only got one of its torpedo launchers. Uh, fire. Flash fire. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're getting this done. 
that was the uh, the spot of luck I was counting on. Remember, luck is a skill. Now I can safely pound away at it without fear of return fire. Because all her ammunition is gone. Auto ammo, ammo selection. is uh, I think not gonna make it in time well, it's got cordite too so was it luck or uh, was it judgment that I deemed it uh, vulnerable to my 15-inch AP. inch main belt not really uh, cutting it at <laughs> that kind of uh, close range in fact at this range I think also there oh wow half belt pen no well that was a four deck pen excuse me with HE let's go with AP and go through the main belt 16 kilometers I uh, yeah I do have the pen this angle. And yeah, I think we got her. King Edward. Secondaries are opening up now too. Not really doing that much other than uh, taking off crew, manning the secondary guns. It's the big rifles doing the main work. Tomahawk. That reminds me, I should probably start seasoning the tomahawk I got in the fridge. That I'm gonna grill tomorrow. It's good doing it a uh, bit of time in advance so that especially the salt has time to penetrate and the secondaries are starting to work when it comes to transports these 4.2 inch secondaries are quite amazing fact probably more effective than the main guns. I 
I don't have auto two reloader on uh, on the Bastada class. Yes, I don't. And the HG is almost gone. That's okay. Yeah, even the HD is just overpenning these. There we go. Yeah, the four inch guns farmed so much damage on those transports. Yeah, too bad about too bad about the loss of the uh, Filmina Denmark. You can buy some new ones. I got plenty of ships for sale. And there's one more convoy battle. Mm. We got Holger Danske from Denmark. Geo Scotty class original, not the refit. Mm. and some um, I think also antique <laughs> Danish armored cruiser do we dare going up against both of these though because those must be the ones in yeah in Scapa Flow I think we're gonna let that convoy sail and have these two battleships uh, just engage maybe this fleet next turn because if I damage them they're even a little bit they're gonna be stuck in uh, in port forever and they will not come out to fight are these guys here still uh, calling the rebellion in Belize? Yeah, they are. Well, that's a task force I actually want to fight. So, why don't I? We have fuel. We can just sail over here. And take them on. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We are going to do that. Are we gonna do this though? Hmm. Well, it would be boring not to. That's my reasoning. Superb, you are quite a bit faster than Holger Danske. <laughs> North Carolina, you are quite a bit slower than anything else. <laughs> You're just gonna go alone? I'm just gonna send you in the direction of the enemy. Padrona, you can actually join up with Superb. The Superb is a little bit faster, but not that much. Will we be able to sink these? Oh yes, they're focusing the North Carolina. That is amazing. That is very lucky. Sadly, the Superb it is one of the ships I cannot reef it. Since I didn't get the design plans for it. 
Otherwise, she would have uh, Mark IV 15 inch guns now. In fact, it's such a beautiful ship. And in case she is lost in the battle. Screenshot. Also screenshot. Yeah, I've not been playing too nice with your um, with your ships, Denmark. Holgeranski is at least a uh, a decent ship. How about I just uh, throw the North Carolina in a loop? Make it a little bit harder to hit. What are we firing at now, superb? Firing at the transport, aren't you? Don't do that. Don't do that. That's a waste of time. I'm gonna target the battleships. the range 29 kilometers and we are scoring some hits the British are still firing at the poor armored cruiser Damaged. I think it's because this one has torpedoes, and the AI has um, has a thing <laughs> about chips with torpedoes. Now we're gonna load AP. See if it works better. We can land some of those penetrating hits and maybe take out a uh, a main gun magazine or something. Blocked. You can target the uh, the transport if you get in range. The drone is in range. 19 kilometers. Yeah, you have the belt pen. If you have a flat angle, you can go through that. Prince of Wales. It's a flat angle. Oh no, these are the uh, the ones with armor. Prince George is not one of the ones with armor. At least belt armor. Back to auto. Uh, 
Corona, you might want to slink away from this one. I've lost so many of your sisters, and I think I'm going to lose you now, too. Oh yeah, they got out of range of the American uh, cruiser. I should have uh, had it keep up. Prince of Wales. Uh, still no main deck armor, so we should be able to go through it. Ah, oh, poor Padroa. started firing at the American cruiser again. That's lucky. So Padrona is gonna get away. Michael. Transport. Your next target superb. Just get it sunk. Now you can just start doing donuts again, Carolina. much to those ships. There we go. Okay. My um, my distraction is no longer distracting them. Back to Prince of Wales. Should be able to pen. No, not at that angle. Yeah, it's just getting blocked. That did not get blocked. Superb, you are out of here. Denmark, you are out of here. It's actually a good, uh, good pen on Prince George. Oh. 
That's not good. Please, Padrona is getting away. Superb is getting away. Unless we can flash fire Prince George. a uh, bit of flooding needed to to kill the uh, superb now they're turning back again no kill on the transport so I had to uh, retreat the padrona Battle cruisers were just too busy fighting uh, the battleships. Oh, yeah, you run out of HE because it's the original configuration, not the refit with the 50-50 ammunition mix. Uh, superb should... unless she takes an unlucky hit. Should be able to get away. 48 kilometer HE. Because the AP is semi and the HE is capitalistic. The only reason the range is so good with Mark 3s is I think because they just made the barrels very long. And we're still ricocheting. Oh, well, they ceased fire on Superb. Now targeting the Dane. And I think the Danish ship has had enough now, too. Oh, there we go main belt pen on Prince George. See, we can hurt you. If we can just uh, do that a couple more times. would be very good.
and they're turning back again. Four belt penetration at that angle, okay. Meanwhile, I'm getting uh, lots of blocks and ricochets. Because, yeah, modern armor and uh, Citadel 5. That's a lot of resistance. And anti torp 5. We're getting out of here. But at least those ships have to uh, now go back in for repair for a little while. And they can stay there until my battle fleet is back from the Caribbean. How many turns does it take to sail? Uh, two turns to reach Belize. Let's launch another invasion here because this is going to be done next turn. So let's see, Soviet Union, Crimea, 121 tons. Yeah, I think we got that. I think we have enough tonnage for that not to be a uh, problem. We're a little bit over capacity now. Thanks to Padrona and Superb being um, being repaired. And also Archimede for two months. Capri and Dory are refitting for two months. Let's just suspend repair of the Superb and make everything else go a little bit faster. How's this now going? 89%. So Serbia will be mine. Maybe, uh, maybe this turn, maybe ne next turn. Right, strike, three transports sunk, two transports sunk. People of Ireland take arms and try to gain control of Ireland that is currently occupied by Britain. Southern Russia is mine. Yeah, next turn we're taking Serbia. We can have these uh, three cruisers join in the invasion force. That's fine. A light cruiser there. The battleships are still in port being repaired and this huge force is closing in uh, the DDs are kind of running out of uh, fuel I think they should make it I don't have any allies in the Caribbean do I I don't think I do yeah, I got Canada. It's not that far away. 
So on the way, on the way back, we can just sail past um, Nova Scotia, and get refueled, and then back here. Uh, I think that's the plan. Let's go August of 1940. Uh, hang on, first. Let's build a bigger port. Not because I need to build uh, ships that weigh 400,000 tons, but because it also increases the shipbuilding capacity. As you can see, it's up by, uh, by a bit since last month. Superb. Resume. Okay. Does not look like we um, have a meeting. Strike. Strike. Uh, better torpedoes. Okay. I have taken Serbia. That's why my unrest is up. Okay, the British battleships moved. Why? I don't know. Let's get after them. So that will probably have to be in the next uh, next episode, because first, we have a convoy battle. Vesuvio. Bastarda class and another Padrona class versus a Prince of Wales. Oh, the Prince of Wales of the Marlborough 1938 class. And uh, this is the sub variant with a lot of armor. 18 inch main belt. Still no main deck though. Are we going to chance this, or just wait for the battle fleet to get back? I think we are. I think we're going to wait. The older... Um, the older battleships are... Uh, older battle cruisers are just not capable of dealing with them. But these might be. If we can move these two just outside of that port. In, let's see, Indomito, Iroquito, you're not coming. And for Euro class. That's a task force. Furia is now repaired, Geo Scotty. All the Geo Scotties are repaired. Let's just link up here and hope we get a strike mission against those two battleships. don't really need the 14 inch armed battle cruisers. I don't really need the heavy cruisers to deal with this. Nor do I need these DDs, I think. Okay. So we're just gonna leave that convoy mission. Because that seems like just a way to get one of my battle cruisers damaged. 100% very nice and the army is marching on Azerbaijan not sure if they're gonna take it though might take Hungary 
outnumbered three to one, but the difference in army logistics, hundred versus three, they would have to outnumber me thirty to one for it to be even. If it works the way I think it works. Which, well, there's no guarantee. But I think it works that way. Six months out for getting um, Mark IV 18s. But these engines, that's, the what I, that's what I want. Gas turbines. To make really fast DDs. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're I think we're gonna end it here and see if we can get this battle next turn. If they don't just run away again. Well, goodbye and take care.